now i am reading to all respectable principal teachers and my dear students i am amna sharin of 6th a mps balsheri 10th of december is observed as a human rights day every year around the world it marks a massive milestone in advancement of humanitarianism it is not depend on race religion language or gender human rights day can be defined as the right to live for any human being 150 million children are working under labor according to the report on the international labor organization domestic violence is still not considered as a crime in many countries which leads to violence against children and women this year human rights day theme to the covid-19 pandemic and focus on the need to build back better by ensuring human rights day are central to recovery efforts we will reach our common global goals on if we were able to equal opportunities for all address the failures exposed and exploited by covid-19 and apply human rights day standard to track and gender systematically and intergenerational and inequalities and exclusions and discriminations all leaders should be worked for human rights day and live for poor people and depressed people i am concluding my words by questioning the words of nelson mandela who was the real victim of human rights day violations thank you a warm good morning to one and all i am fatima hanan 6a marcus public school balsheri we know december 10th is observed as world human rights day every year around the world it marks a massive milestone advancement of humanitarianism it is not dependent on race religion language or gender human rights can be defined as through to liberty equality respect and to live for any human beings now i am pointing human rights violation the different parts of the world 150 million children are working under labor according to report on the international labor organization thank you have a nice day good morning respected principal teachers and my dear friends today i am going to say about human rights the term human rights can be defined as the right to live liberty equality and respect for any human being the constitution of india has section known as rights and fundamental rights which provide the people of the nation with their fundamental rights these rights are the basic human rights of every single citizens of the country irrespective of their caste background religion color or sex between the year 1957 to 1949 the section were vital elements that are added to the constitution in india there are namely six fundamental or human rights which are right to freedom right to equality right against exploitation right to freedom of religion culture and educational rights and rights to constitutional remedies internationally on violation of international human rights or humanitarian laws or crimes against humanity can make the government of country prosecute the individual or it can be done by another country as well under the universal jurisdiction thank you hi friends i am fatima tanha of fourth a studying in marcus public school balsheri the fundamental rights are defined as the basic human rights of all citizens these rights defined in part 3 of indian constitution seven fundamental rights were provided by the constitution they are right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational right right to property and right to constitutional remedies when any of our rights are violated we can seek remedy through courts if it is a fundamental right we can directly approach the supreme court or the high court of a state thank you have a great day good morning right to equality right to freedom cultural and educational rights right to 
constitutional remedies. Right to freedom of religion. Right against exploitation. 